Hi, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Orange Therapy on YouTube, where I'm starting something a little bit different. We're gonna do Tapping Tuesday. So I'm a level two EFT trained professional counselor in the state of South Carolina. EFT is the emotional freedom technique. It is a mind body method of tapping acupressure points with your hands to process emotions that you have within your body. It really is an exposure technique for processing difficult emotions. I'm also a provider for an organization called Unite For Her. Unite For Her is a national organization that provides therapy and other services to people who have been diagnosed or are currently battling metastatic breast cancer and breast cancer. As a, an EFT practitioner and somebody who works with cancer patients, I see a lot of people who are dealing with a new diagnosis and the shock of the new diagnosis. So today, the EFT tapping is going to be on just that, the shock of a new cancer diagnosis. Sit back and let's learn how to do this together. So EFT tapping, when we're talking about um, this particular technique, there are several stages. So first we have to identify the issue. And as I stated a moment ago, the issue that we're going to explore and process today is receiving the diagnosis that you have cancer. We need to then test the intensity. So when I'm talking with somebody and they we're going to process the difficult emotions that have to do with this new diagnosis of cancer. We're going to discuss the shock and the denial and the fear. We're going to, we're going to explore the questions. What is this gonna do to my family? What does this mean for my work? Will I be able to function? What am I facing? What does the road ahead look like? Then we're gonna sit down and look at the subjective units of distress scale, the SUDS level. So on a scale of one to 10, how reactive, how strong are the emotions that you are experiencing related to this diagnosis? Then we're going to set up the tapping. We're going to go through the sequence and then we're going to just take a deep breath and settle in to feel what is it that my SUDS level is right now. And then we might process through again. So there are several acupuncture points that we're going to be tapping on while we're doing this. And it is a little bit odd. It is different than your typical um, counseling session when I engage in EFT tapping with my clients. And so I will teach them, just as I'm gonna teach you right now, where the acupressure points are. So the first point is going to be down the outside of the hand, down by the baby finger. So we're gonna tap our hands together. Now some EFT practitioners will have you tap like this or like this. You do it how you feel comfortable because this particular point is on both sides of the body. I typically have my clients, if they're able to, to tap their hands together. So that's the first point. And don't worry, you don't have to remember this because we're going to be doing it together. The next point is going to be up from where your ear is, up to the top of your head. So it's kind of at the top of your head, but it's closer to the back, to the crown of your head. And that's going to be the next point. Now I get blind with my clients, I can't see you. Uh, we then tap on the insides of our eyebrows. So where you would pluck, if you are plucking your eyebrows, right at the end point, that's your next point. And then at the sides of the eyes, on the orbit of the eyes, there's a little notch in the bone. So you're not over on the temple, you're not into the eye, you're on the bone. That's our next spot. Now, as we're looking straight ahead at one another, the next spot is if I'm looking straight ahead, again on the bone, you can feel that little notch there underneath the eyes. The next spot is underneath the nose, above the lip, above the chin, below the bottom lip. And then we're gonna go just about an inch below our collarbone, an inch in from the sternum. We're gonna tap there. All right, and then the final spot, even though it's on both sides, I don't have people do this because I end up laughing because we all look like gorillas. So I have people reach across, 
for women, it's right about on the bra strap, about four inches below the armpit, and we'll tap there. All right. So we are going to be tapping today, of course, as I said, on the diagnosis of cancer. So I want you just to sit for a moment and just take a breath. You know, when we're talking about the shock and I didn't expect this and maybe I did, but I'm still shocked by it. Um, I'm afraid. What is your suds level right now? Just think about that for a second. That's objective units of stress. How strongly do I feel it? Where do I feel it? You know, sometimes people, when they start tapping, they feel a tightness or a pressure in their chest, maybe a pain in their heart or a knot in their stomach. Sometimes people feel dry in their throat or, or a tension around their throat or a tension around their head. So I want you just to check in with your body. How is your body feeling right now before we start tapping? So maybe keep that number in mind. Now, another thing I want to mention as we're tapping, this is different than meditation. We are right here right now feeling our emotions based on something that happened. So I don't want to be back there. I am accessing how I'm feeling now. So I want to keep my eyes open, all right? We want to stay grounded here, feeling how that has impacted me and what I'm carrying now. I'm gonna process the emotions as I expose myself to them, tapping on these energy meridians, I am processing the emotions through, all right? You are going to follow and you're going to repeat after me. And it sounds a little odd because we will be repeating the negative things and that's the exposure portion of it. All right, so we're gonna start on the sides of our hands. Okay, just start tapping. <sighs> Sitting relaxed. And you're just gonna repeat after me. I'm okay. Even though I'm not okay because I can't believe I just received this diagnosis. I'm okay. Even though I'm not okay, because the doctor said I have cancer. I'm okay. Even though I'm not okay, because I'm so afraid. Even though I'm so afraid, and I feel this knot in the pit of my stomach. I still fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid of the future and I've got this pressure in my chest, I still fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm so shocked and I don't know what the future holds, I still fully and completely love and accept myself. Okay, top of the head. I didn't expect that. He said I have cancer. What is this gonna do? Will I live? Will I die? I'm so afraid. So afraid. I'm in shock about this diagnosis. I didn't expect them to say this. I'm in complete shock. I'm in shock of this diagnosis. I feel sick to my stomach. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I didn't expect that. He said I have cancer. How could I have cancer? How could I have cancer? How did this happen? I'm in shock. I'm in shock. And I'm so afraid. I'm 
so afraid. I'm so afraid. Take a deep breath. Now check in with yourself for just a moment. What is that level of distress now? What is your SUDS level on a scale of one to 10? Just sense it. Where do you feel it in your body? Has it changed? Sometimes other thoughts have come up while we tap, other emotions. I encourage you to tap back through again. And if other thoughts and other emotions came through, tap on those thoughts and emotions. As you repeat the cycle over again, you will likely notice that those levels go down. And if you would like to work with a professional counselor as the days move ahead, reach out to Unite for Her, U-N-I-T-E-F-O-R-H-E-R.org, and they can match you with a counselor in your area. Let's tap through once more on some of those things and perhaps another couple of things that came to my mind as I think about clients that I have worked with as we have tapped through what else has come up for them as we tapped. So let's go through again. Remember, we're gonna start on the sides of our hands. I'm okay. Even though I'm not okay. Because I can't believe I got this diagnosis. I'm okay. Even though I'm not okay. Because I'm kind of scared. Actually, I'm really scared. I'm okay. Even though I'm not okay because I don't know what's coming. Even though I don't know my treatment plan yet, I still fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't know what this is going to look like, I still fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid, I still fully and completely love and accept myself. How do I tell my family? I'm so afraid. I want to protect them. And I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. What's going to happen? My chest is so tight. My stomach is so sick. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? I didn't expect this. What's going to happen next? What will my treatment plan be? How will I respond? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And I'm afraid. I'm in shock. I'm in complete shock. And I'm afraid. And I don't like being afraid. I don't like being afraid. But I'm afraid. Big deep breath. Check in with yourself again. Where are those levels right now? How does your chest feel? And your stomach? How does your body feel? I encourage you to repeat the process 
until your SUDS level is down to be a manageable level. The diagnosis received from a doctor is shocking and sometimes we're in denial. Processing the emotions can help us to move through it. It's not gonna change the diagnosis. And this isn't a cure for cancer. This is a way to be able to process the emotions that come along with an overwhelming diagnosis. If you have any questions for me, please drop them down in the comments below. Tuesdays are going to be Tapping Tuesdays. And for the next several weeks, I'm gonna be tapping in areas that I have encountered with my patients who are currently struggling with cancer diagnoses. So in one way or another, for the next several weeks, that's what we're gonna be looking at. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please like and share. Subscribe. I'd love to see you back here at Orange Therapy on YouTube, where you are welcome, exactly as you are.